Hey, y'all might as well just call me JPS because I'm out here dropping these loads off like a UPS, a FedEx, or a whoever. Stop, y'all. Oh, shit. All right, y'all. So, I just loaded up all that shit. Now I got 35 stops to go to. I'm fucking UPS around this bitch. I'm UPS, y'all. Yo, I'll see y'all later. Catch y'all on the next stop. Alright y'all, so it hasn't been that bad. I'm about halfway finished. Um, I'm held up right now because the person who's supposed to be here to receive these washers and dryers um, is not at the property. So I'm waiting on him because the other ones are too far away for me to go and come back and then those are right around the corner from each other. But ultimately, it hasn't been that bad. It actually turned out it wasn't uh, 30 drops um <laughs> although it feels like it's been 30 drops uh it actually ended up being 15 uh drops with like a ton of different things at each one uh so far the majority that i dropped off have been small items boxes some of them are heavy some of them not so heavy like 20 20 pounds each um some were literally just small little bag of nothing uh like less than a pound um, I'm real life UPS in it right now, y'all. Like, y'all might as well just call me JPS because, oh, I think this is my guy. Nope. Nope, that wasn't him. But yeah, man, y'all might as well just call me JPS because I'm out here dropping these loads off like a UPS, a FedEx, or, or whoever. But, um, yeah, I'm about uh, halfway through now. Um, I don't know what they want me to do with the rest that I'm not going to be able to get to. Some of these I'm not going to be able to get to because they're going to apartment complexes. And um, some of these you know, leasing offices close at 5 o'clock. So it's going to have to go back to the yard, which is fine by me because they're going to pay me anyway. So I'm cool with that. Obviously, I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. Um, but basically all these drops have been going to hotels or apartment complexes. I guess they have some sort of contract, but this is, uh, this is what this place is getting seven boxes, washers and dryers. And, um, I got to unload all of these myself which is fine it's not that big of a deal i just prefer no touch freight but i mean eight dollars a mile you can't really you can't really turn that down you just can't and in fact it actually is going to end up being 
more than eight dollars a mile when it's all said and done so this is definitely a win it requires a little elbow grease uh, so i'm not really tripping but also for all you youtube know-it-alls who have been in the comments telling me to know your numbers know your numbers know your numbers know your numbers you got because do you think i would be out here if i didn't know my numbers you tell me how often you get loads for over eight dollars a mile i'll wait two seconds later exactly i mean it requires a little bit of work which if you don't mind getting your hands dirty then it's not that big of a deal i'm gonna let y'all know how it goes i'm gonna finish up as much as i can and uh I'll run it with y'all as soon as possible. So check this out. I made it back to the warehouse where the supplies came from to bring the undelivered supplies back to the shipper and nobody's here. Yeah. Nobody's here to receive the undelivered items. Um, so I'm waiting for um, the broker to get back to me to figure out what they want me to do with this stuff. If it has to sit on my truck overnight, if I got to deliver this in the morning, then the rate goes up. Um, but I'll let y'all know how that goes. But in the meantime, I tell my bad. So I actually got a phone call that was the broker um, telling me that no one's gonna come. So I gotta wait until tomorrow to return the undelivered items, which I guess is not a big deal because they open early in the morning. So I'll just drop that off super early before I pick up my next load and be on my way. But yeah, um, it actually wasn't that bad to be honest, y'all. I mean, I got a little a workout in today. You know, today was ab day, I guess. But um, <laughs> uh, for the most part, it really wasn't that bad. But um, I'm glad I was able to lock this in, get this done. And um, now I'm about to get me something to eat. I'm at this little healthy spot that I found. Uh, I'm about to get me a little loaded bowl little orange chicken vegan chicken <laughs> um but that's it for this video y'all um quick video quick load eight dollars a mile actually gonna end up being more than eight dollars a mile but um local run oklahoma city just uh you know going from stop to stop mostly apartment complexes uh nursing homes stuff like that just dropping off different appliances and um supplies uh that you know they may need so it's pretty cool it's a different experience um less than a day's worth of work for a really handsome rate so i'm happy i'm actually really surprised at how this turned out um i'm actually really happy with the result you know so all right y'all so that's gonna be it for this video um Make sure that if you made it this far into the video that you give me a like, that you comment below and let me know your thoughts, that you subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already, and turn on post notifications. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm about to get my grub on, about to get me some sleep, and hopefully I hit the road tomorrow. It's time to get out of Oklahoma City. It's been cool, but I got to go.